definitely appreciate it. So like, thank you so much. Like John, I said, okay. yeah, I appreciate you for listening, Alex. And um, I'm Alex the Car Doctor, um, and I love educating, so that's probably why. Yeah. <laughs> you understood it. everything. Uh, I tell you what, you guys are doing something great over there. You know, I. Uh, we don't like when this happens, but mm -hmm. um, when it does happen, I appreciate you guys taking well, care of our customers. And I'm, just, I'm just glad you're taking care of my customers because, <laughs> to truth be told, I was going to put you guys on blast, and I don't think that would have been good because y'all are one of my favorite gas stations. I'm like, Ooh, yeah. I don't want to do that. I want to continue to do business with y'all, and I was like, just please, y'all do my customer right. That's, the, that's what I was yeah, praying that's for. that's right. And that's why we have that 100% satisfaction guarantee. I, I can almost guarantee you, if our customers, your customers, would have gone went to, would it be one of our competitors, they would have had this uh, same treatment. They would have, they would have said, sorry, that's not us. You know, and then that's what <laughs> we've had experienced in the past. But we're willing and able to pay anything that was related to, you know, anything that was gas related problems. So gotcha. there's just the paperwork behind it. But we definitely, again, again, appreciate everything that you're doing. So thank you so much. Okay. And just to add, um, you know, I maintain this car on a regular basis and, um, Integrity is everything in my business, and it didn't have catalytic converter codes before, and it definitely wasn't time for a catalytic converter issue. Now, if the car had 200,000 miles, then, you know, yeah, that's that's questionable. It, it probably had pre-existing issues. So I just wanted to throw that out there. I definitely I put that in my notes as well, so mm -hmm. definitely appreciate that. So, again, thank you, Alex, for your time. I definitely appreciate you getting on the phone with me, okay? Okay. Take care, buddy. Bye-bye. You too. Have a good bye all right, they're going to take care of the contaminated car. I am so happy I didn't have to put anybody on blast because I was about to. And I was probably going to boycott that particular gas station, and I really didn't want to. It's one of my favorites, hands down. So go to show. Keep your receipts. Uh, what else you said, dude, sweetie? Mm -hmm. Make sure Look you... Look for, for gas stations that have guaranteed that guarantee their gas. Mm -hmm. Now, the guarantee, I did some research in it. Uh, it basically is saying they stand by the quality and um, accuracy of their fuel in a nutshell. Um, yeah. Now, this particular gas station, not going to name any names. Uh, of course, they said, you know, it was the tanker's fault, which, which it was. But all in all, it's still that gas station's fault because I just, I am a business owner. So if something happens at Alex, the car doctor, where one of my techs worked on the cars and you know, negligence happened from that, I can't be like, oh yeah, it's da 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 fault. I don't got nothing to do with it, but it's my company. So I have everything to do with it. Um, whether that's me checking behind my tech every time, which I do, I try and do sometime I miss cars. Yes, we're all human. Uh, we miss stuff, S mistakes happen. Um, at the end of the day, it's what you do to fix that mistake that matters. It makes a good company or business. That's my two cents on the situation. Okay. Getting ready to pull that one in. All right, CJ, you ready? I got I got you set up. Uh, let's yeah, get I'm mic'd up. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah? <laughs> okay, you just need a Sawzall blade, which I have. I have everything. I got you. So I'm gonna have to drag that compressor, the generator back there, cause I'm old and tired. Uh, hey man, don't speak that over your life. I need you to be vibrant. Look, at least till we're in our seventies. Yeah, I still I, need, I need you to. I need to go to the gym. That's that's my problem, guys. Y'all stay on me. Um, I just I just need to get in the gym, cause man, this old age stuff catching up with me. You're not that old. I know, but but if but, you don't, uh, it will. <sighs> Feel like it sometimes. <laughs> really? Babe, come on. I am the police now. Lifter doctor. The lifter police, that's what they call me. No, he don't have lifter issues on this. That, that's what it sounds like. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this dude can't get He you literally just, was just in here with his charger like last year with lifter issues. He's got a skipping problem and that was Got to find out what's going on with it. So he sold the charger, mm -hmm. bought this, and now this has lifter issues. Potentially. I don't know. I'm about to run some checks on it. 
I'm making a weird noise. Maybe belts. Oh, let me run some checks. It is skipping on three, I do believe. One, two, three. So over here. This is the cylinder at question. Uh, I didn't feel it skipping coming in, but that's freaking maybe. Here it uh, Maybe. Well, I just think been under water. I caught in the flood. I was gonna say Hurricane Helene was just. Yeah. Let me see, can I power break? Oh, let's see. Do a little skip. You need motor mount. <laughs> Something could have went to skipping and then stopped. Uh, what's that sound back there? Just the brakes, because so, I'm power breaking it for testing purposes. Yeah, it's no active skip. It's got this thing got like a hundred and seventy thousand, no, hundred and sixty. What's the mileage on this? Uh, I don't know where nothing is. I don't know what it is. I just looked at the mile. Yeah, sorry, I can't give you the exact mileage. Is it right here? No, it's psych. I never know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, normally it's like a little button you push, but I don't see it. All this police stuff. Pull over. Get out of the road. I will remove your engine. Try me. You're having too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy is really cool. He don't mind. Yeah, he don't mind. I know somebody, their keyboard thugs. Oh, you shouldn't be playing with uh, police no. official equipment. He's a long-term customer. Dude, this is like family to me. I have relationships with my customers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, let me uh, check these plugs and just give it an overall check over. We will go from there. Um, I do want to put it on the lift, but I don't have a lift available we are right now. We are busy. slammed. <laughs> Which is good. We just hired a new guy. He actually just came in yesterday. Yeah, he did. from watching. He said he'd been watching us for two years. And I like his resume. We're going to see if he well, works out. Yeah, we're going to see. Because they're going to see. The Alex cut out that you get on screen. But when the camera's yeah. on, we mean business up in here. We do. Customers we do. got to get out the door like. You going to tell the people we got into it with our landlord today? I wasn't going to. That's why I just, I just calmed down. Because <laughs> he was getting ready to take me there. Uh, he took me there. He was getting ready to take me there. It's just, it's just furthermore confirmation. It is time for us to go. I'll show y'all, show y'all the issue what's going on. So, oh yeah, we are a busy shop. Um, now we've been renting here for a very long time. Very. Long. We started off down there, in that little bitty shop down there. Um, yeah. Um, we started off down there, and that's when I had first convinced Alex to open up a shop. I didn't want to get this right. So. I'll show them. I'll take them. Uh, well, i tell you what. Actually, there really, we started off right here. This used to be Alex's cousin John's shop that we visit all the time. So we were renting a bay from him. This got free, so we started renting this one for $2,500 a month. Let me give him a, a tour. Is it open? I, I know the tour. Oh. Okay. Don't be breaking the internet. No. I just showed it the other day. Who told you to show it? What's being nice? Well, See, we ain't no being more. nice no more. But anyway, this used to be our old shop up until June 2020. That's open. Yeah. Oh, look at it. Not them putting new floors. Yeah, they don't. They done dog on uh, re renovated. They didn't do none of that prior to us moving in. It looked real janky. But this used to be our little office. We used to have a desk right here, a waiting area where my wife is. Currently standing. 
Now we had this during COVID, so we used to, I used to have my kids in here and they homeschooled um, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Rest from home. Uh huh. But this is where we started. Yeah. It used to still flood when we had. It. Now they don't step in that water. That is sewage water. Right. So while they talking, they have sewage water that gets into the shop. Um, you can tell it's been flooded. Look at all the mud stains yeah. along the wall. Yeah. We had a lift right here and another lift up here. This was very awkward. All they got to do is go look at the older videos. Oh, we yeah. We started right here. Uh huh. We had the lift right here. <laughs> yeah, humble beginnings. Yes. And yes, remember, we were afraid to take this shop because we were scared we couldn't make the rent. Yeah. Look at that. All you got to do is have a little faith, folks. Man, man, man. But anyway, the problem is uh, we're growing. We pay 6000 a month for the, uh, the space that we have. Um, this is the, I, they did nice in here. I ain't going to yeah, lie. It looks really nice. Easy. I don't know about these color walls by it being a mechanic shop. Yeah, but. That's, but anyway, that's so we rent it here. The space we're in now was open for months, almost like a year. And we took a leap of faith and took it over. So if we was afraid to pay rent here, you know how we was feeling about this Ooh, rent. Yeah, it was but something. Anything that we do is we got to have faith. So we did it. The problem is now we're getting big, bigger. Hey, Harry. And um, I pay, we pay six grand here. I also pay extra just to have additional storage for the cars over there. Not the whole thing, but from pole to is another pole back there. So his problem is, um, we blocked the our entrance. cars aren't as organized as he wants them to be. But we blocked the entrance on purpose. We don't want those car haulers exiting through our end because, as you can saw, if you didn't watch the other video, as you saw the last video, this car literally got swiped in front of us and many others we just know of certain situations um yeah. the first time our employee one of our employees cars um, there's a video on it's it the second hey, time all the real followers know the point is you know we're constantly rotating and moving cars mm -hmm. all the time and it wasn't the what he said it's how he said it yeah you know it's a then, way you talk to people then this fool talking about oh i fixed the parking lot um i just drove up through there Woo. What you call this? These are freaking lakes. Joy Lake parking lot. What do I do? He caught, he, he caught me by surprise when he said that one. He was just up here. He didn't go through yeah, these big old potholes. He's in a... Uh, he's been an idiot. Yeah. Look at all this being stuff. Being an asshole. That's what he's been. So. Uh, I, I'm going to let it go because it ain't that deep to me. Um... Like I say, we are in the middle. He always comes when we're in the middle of switching. Stuff. I was like, what do you want me to do? Turn down work? Because then I can't make your rent. So what do you want me to do? I'm about to, um, I told you what I'm about to do. The main thing is to stay out of other people's way, which we do. But it's like, look, I can't say, I can't cookie cutter my schedule to appease you, which you're never even here. So you don't even know, yeah, what's, going know what's going on. Yeah, he only know what's going on. Ask questions. He always assuming stuff. Yeah, so... But that's what's going anyway, on. That's currently. what we're doing. We're moving cars around. That my guy told Johnny <laughs> to come and scrap some cars that we don't need anymore. So, but anyway, need to move. I didn't want to bring it up, but Alex did because he really, yeah, had, he we, really had pissed me off. We all, we always want to share what's going on with us, especially when it comes to the shops. And all of this, like I said, the way he said it, and I'm glad mm -hmm. I had you on speakerphone. See, the problem is he don't like to deal with the men. He'd rather deal with the woman and talk to me sideways. That ain't gonna fly. Yeah, I'm gonna be an asshole. I'm gonna constantly tell him about stuff that needs to be fixed. Constantly, on a day basis. Daily. So you dealing with my wife, she's a nice one. You talking about some love. I emailed and um, I don't answer email. I don't believe in emails. <laughs> I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be real petty. <laughs> you gotta text or call me. Um, that's how I do things. Well, not, literally, that's how I do things. My wife do all the email stuff. I'm old school. No emails. Give me a good old flip phone. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, that's the situation. But we'll be all right. Uh, we just we gonna have faith, just like we got did that shop. This one, we gonna have faith for the next one. Okay.
I was coming from Stockbridge to haul a D car. It was just turned the night. I cut the day short at work because my daughter is running for what, Miss Towers? Mm -hmm. Homecoming. Miss Homecoming. I guess to represent the whole school. So I'm helping out doing campaign stuff today. Yes. Been a pretty good campaign so far. Mm -hmm. I think last week, well, this week, dang, this week done flew by us. Jeez. Um, earlier this week, we passed out popcorn. I put a picture on the screen. So we haven't really been filming a lot because we've been doing this. <laughs> yeah, Azaria, my daughter, costing me money. That's all right. He <laughs> like to spend it, y'all. He like to spend it. <laughs> Oh, my kids. Yeah. Cool. So we got these made. And a uh, little sign with her donut for getting the vote. It's really cute. So we're going to spend lunch time with her while she passed these out for her campaign. We and then we met wins. winners. We're giving out some pretty good prizes yeah. for the kids. Uh, giving out gift cards, uh, some beats, and TV. Uh, the winners. So, yeah, we get prizes cool. and stuff. That's why we work hard, you know, to make sure we can have fun with our kids and support them and everything they do. But my, you look good in food service. You ever thought about changing careers? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I'm gonna make uh, the culinary doctor. Make hot wings, so guys. I'm switching professions. I'm no longer doing car stuff no more. Sorry. <laughs> All right, we're going to get back to it because it's almost lunchtime, guys. I'll cut back in and when the kids are around or something. Campaigning is going really good so far. Um, <laughs> my baby girl have like four lunches at her school, but I don't think we're going to make the last lunch. But these are our last few donuts after six foot tall of donuts. <laughs> Yeah. Gave out. So, so we're doing what you good. think, Zara? Going I'm good? Win. You gonna win or lose? Win. You sure? Enough. You know. Cause we got it in the bag. There you go. She got it in the bag. <laughs> Howdy, howdy. Hey, sweetie. Hey. What a surprise. Y'all got off okay? Yeah. The campaign went really well. I guess this is help day, I guess. This is a friend's car I'm working on. Kind of down on his luck right now. Um, <laughs> he kind of bought a POS, not knowing it. The car has like 120,000 miles on it. And the previous owner didn't look like they changed their oil up into 100,000 miles when he purchased the car. Shine your light. Oh, uh, let me go grab my light. I don't have my light on me. I'm sure all the sludge. Uh, all right, I got it. Let me get a scooper, because they're going to want to see this. This is, this is horrible. I need a punch. Oh, I can't find them to scoop with. I'm looking for a special tool. It's called the, um, I use this blade, sludge scooper tool. <laughs> is it really called a sludge no. scooper? Or? Oh, this is sludge. Now, this was a lot worse. Um, I did, oof, just caked up, man. I did run diesel mix with gasoline through the oil briefly to help break all this stuff up. Because um, diesel and gasoline mix, which I previous got from another vehicle, it's on my other video. Speaking of that, I already mentioned that. Yeah. took care of the customer. Um, but with this much sludge in the engine, it can clog up your ports, your oil passages. On modern day, all engines, you have small oil passages. And sludge is due to not changing your oil and the oil is cooking 
the properties break down in the oil to stop it from doing that. So when you don't change it within the correct intervals, it loses its um, the additives that they put in it and it breaks down to sludge, almost like a crude oil. Uh, so it goes back to its a natural state, which will clog up oil passages, which lead to a lot of detrimental problems in an engine. It can cause oil starvation. Um, this particular situation, it caused the a hydraulic timing chain tensioner to slack up and skip time. Yes, this engine has jumped timing slightly. But ever since the um, diesel gasoline treatment in the oil, the, the chain has, um, look right here, it has tension back up. So it has this norm, about almost normal tension on it now. Before, it was like really slacky. Uh, so that helped clear out all that sludge and whatnot. But you're still doing the timing train? Yes. Oh, yeah. It, it, it jumped time. And that much pressure beating around and slack stretches it and does damage. Uh, matter of fact, the sludge and uh, carbon particles get in between the chain links and wears them out, causing it to these links to loosen up. I think chains really don't stretch. It's the links. It's like a uh, what's a good example that everybody will understand? Buggy wheel. <laughs> everybody know what a buggy is, a shopping cart. Oh, I can say no. You know, in the South, we say buggy shopping cart. OK, yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna try to use this an analogy. So on a good working shopping cart, um, the wheels are track straight on the worn out ones. It kind of flaps around because of the, well, it gets old and it, it, it's probably caused by other, a lot of st other stuff too, but it's like the link get a lot of play in it because of the worn out metal and it waddles itself out and it's no longer tight. So that's the term stretching broke down um, in a sense. All right, I'm getting pulled away. Okay, I see. <laughs> And it's Saturday, so the guys are working on their own stuff. Rafael is rebuilding his engine. Finally. Finally. <laughs> waiting for you to, I can't wait to see you get it on the road. Because y'all going to do the body work too, right? It's going to be nice. You going to put some rims on there? Rims. Yeah. Or make it off road? <laughs> All right, I got this one all complete. Um. My wife missed it, but I did wipe down all the sludge and rinsed out the engine with the diesel mix and let it all drain out. Listen, it's not my fault. That little person right there. You sound a little weird, though. This sludge does a number on these engines, but it is, it is responsive again. Um, but these are the old pieces. Let me give it a wrap because it's sounding a little strange. I didn't change the filter because he just said he changed the filter. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and change it and hopefully that gets rid of the low oil pressure stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure the filter is clogged up by me running that solution and everything through it. I actually did change this filter. I went ahead and put a new one on it anyway, but unfortunately I have some bad news. Couldn't save this patient. I lost one. Live action, pretty much. Well, not live for you guys. I hate when I lose patience. Here's what happened. Put the new filter on, crunk it up. It started sounding amazing. Um, grabbed it up to like 2,000 RPMs to let things flow through real good. And it started rattling again, and it just stopped. Like engine locked up on me. Um, I already knew. I was like, uh, she's gone. And it wasn't even knocking. It was just like a little slight rattle like you guys heard. Um, yes, the timing chain was done correctly. It doesn't have anything to do with that. The, um, the oil O-rings, they were new. Everything properly tore it back down before you 
go there. I know what your keyboard thug is gonna say. Uh, and I've done a whole bunch of these. Um, this is not my first time in chain on this 2.0 engine. But if this was a regular customer, I wouldn't even touch this car. This show, this goes to show how bad sludge actually is, especially if you go in there and try to clean it up. Or, oh, it can get into some nasty places. Um, unfortunately, this engine was gonna die. If it didn't die today, it was gonna die um, <clears throat> shortly on down the road from that sludge. Yeah. But I lost sad. one and I'm pretty sad because I tried to help. Try, yeah, he don't need this yeah, right now. Yeah, he's down on his luck. And, uh, I'm gonna have to figure out what we can do for him. Moral of the story here is sludge kills. Now, I didn't charge this man nothing for this because it was, I wouldn't say experimental, but I just wanted to try something in hopes that it will work out for him. But unfortunately, it did not. Um, so guys, be careful out there. Getting ready to take my baby girl and my wife to get something to eat. Alex Car Doctor out. See you guys on the next one.